Hey, how's it going? So today what we're going to be talking about is uh, the search term report in, uh, in Google Ads uh, and really the importance of it, how you use it, and really why um, you should be you know, kind of checking this thing out regularly so you know different negative keywords to add, positive keywords to add, kind of like what your traffic is looking like. So uh, before we get into it, if you're looking for more videos like this on Google Ads, lead gen, all that kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, my name is Chris Down, and pretty much all I do on this channel is I talk about lead generation, Google Ads, all that kind of stuff, and I try to, um, you know, really just kind of share from from my experience of working with clients and uh, uh, try to help you guys out in any way that I can. And if you're any, if you if there's anything you're looking to learn, make sure to drop it in the comments. Um, and if you want more of this content, make sure you subscribe, like the video. It's always appreciated. Uh, but today, like I said, I'm going to be focusing mainly on the search terms report. So um, I'm just in a campaign right here. I pulled uh, a decent range of data, but usually what you want to do is you want to do this, at least what I do for, for any of my clients, is I try to do this every single week uh, to make sure that I'm adding negative keywords as much as possible to an account. Um, but there's a few th little benefits that I, I noted down here for the, the search terms report. Essentially, the number one thing is you can see what somebody searched when they clicked on your ad. Um, so this is going to help you to figure out is your traffic actually good or not um, and if particular keywords are actually driving quality traffic or not. Um, this is how you kind of check through all that. Number two, you're going to be able to find a lot more negative keyword ideas for your campaign. And then the third thing is you're going to be able to find more keywords that you can add into your campaign. So let's talk about this first point right here. Um, this is so essentially to get to the search terms report. You can, um, I just have all campaigns selected. You go over to keywords, go down to search terms. Um, but let's go a different way here. Let me select this ad group right here. If you actually go to your search keywords, what you can do is you can actually just check this little box here and then go to search terms. So this is kind of the first point here. You can see, is this keyword actually driving quality traffic? Uh, you can see with this campaign, it's converting really well, five conversions. $41 cost per conversion with 33% conversion rate. So that's pretty good. Um, so I'd imagine the traffic is pretty solid. Um, but if you are having an issue with a keyword, you're getting some low quality traffic, low conversion rate, whatever it might be, um, you click on it, hit search terms, and this is actually going to show you what that particular keyword has actually uh, essentially what somebody searched when they clicked on that ad. So for the most part, it's pretty solid. Bathroom remodel, bathroom remodel, Killeen, bathroom remodel, near me. Now this is getting into the negatives kind of stuff. Do you need permits to remodel a bathroom? So on my end, if I see something like this, what you do, uh, we're getting to point two here about negatives. Pretty much just click on it. You can add this as a negative keyword. Click on that. And it's just, it's pretty much going to add it as a exact exact match here. Um, and usually what I do is I'll just add it to the campaign level. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, another thing that I'll do is if I'm seeing like a particular, uh, like kind of theme within that keyword permits, um, I want to negative that out as well. So to do that really quickly, you can either go to the negative keyword list and just add it there. Um, alternatively, sometimes you can just click on it add as a negative keyword, hit campaign, and then I'll just kind of get rid of all this other stuff, um, and add in permits. So campaign permits hit save. Now we have another negative keyword that we added to our list. So, um, essentially now none of our ads are going to show up for anything relating to this particular, uh, keyword, but also anything that deals with people looking for like permits or anything like that. Um, so that is kind of like adding negative keywords. So essentially the way this would work is I'm just going to go back to all campaigns here. What you want to do on a weekly basis is, uh, pretty much I'll usually just have all the campaigns selected. It depends on how complicated your campaign is, but for this, I just have all campaigns selected every single week. What I usually do is I go through this list and I see what kind of traffic was generated. What, what did people search when they clicked on the ads? And then what I'll do is I'll actually go through first and I'll look for negative keywords. So, um, I've already done this for the most part on this, uh, this campaign. So let me just kind of show you, um, some examples here. So if I'm going through here and I see somebody that searches how much to redo bathroom, generally this is somebody looking for just kind of like informational kind of things or looking for pricing. Usually, uh, especially with this campaign, it's a bit of a smaller budget. I don't want to spend too much money kind of like experimenting like, you know, to see if that'll actually convert people for searching for prices. So I'll usually just exclude anything about, you know, how much cost prices, all that kind of stuff. So you'd go through here, click on that, um, add as negative keyword and go through that whole process. Then you just keep going again, somebody looking for prices, exclude that. Then you have another negative. 
Um, again, it's that permits uh, search. Remodeled kitchens. So this is probably for this this campaign down here. Um, the reason I excluded this is this to me, like I'm a bit unsure about the intent behind it. So to, to me, it, it kind of seems like the person that searched for this, they're looking for like pictures of remodeled kitchens. They're not looking for like a kitchen remodeler. Um, they're looking for maybe like remodeling ideas, things like that. So I just negative that out. So you can see that the, the idea here is pretty much every week, look at what kind of traffic you are generating and then add your negative keyword list. But then also at the same time, if you want to find additional keywords to add to particular campaigns and ad groups, if you go over here, sort by conversions, you're going to see all the keywords that led to conversions. So usually what I'll do is if conversions came in, I will go through that list and actually add that particular keyword as an exact match to that campaign. So um, there's some of them here that I actually need to do that for. So we might as well go ahead and do that now. So for example, we have bathroom renovations that led to a conversion. And pretty much what we're gonna do is if we see that on a weekly basis, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, click on this, and it's pretty much the same process. Instead of adding as negative keyword, you wanna add as a keyword. And then um, I'm gonna add it to the ad group here, bathroom renovations, and then I usually just go exact match on this. So that way you're adding in that exact search term to that particular ad group, hit save, and now you have a new keyword on your campaign. So uh, if somebody else searches that keyword, he, that exact keyword, your ad's gonna show up for that. Uh, and then we're pretty much just gonna keep going down this list and uh, kind of doing that exact same thing. So remodeling bathroom for elderly, we have a conversion for that. Yep, same thing with home contractor, so same process. Go here, add as a keyword, and then same thing, make it an exact match. I'm struggling here. Make it an exact match, save, and now you have a new keyword on your account. So that is, uh, that's the search terms report in a nutshell. It's a really, really important thing that you need to kind of pay attention to on your account. Because if you see that you're not getting conversions, um, your account's not performing as well as you want it to, you definitely want to check this out to make sure um, you're even getting the right kind of traffic to your account. Because if you're not, um, that can affect your conversions. So definitely make sure you're on top of this, add in more negatives, add in more, I guess, regular positive keywords as well. Um, and this is also how you can like troubleshoot if a particular keyword that you're bidding on is working or not. Uh, and if you need to actually like tweak that that traffic or the, the, the match type or whatever it might be to try and get better traffic from that keyword. So that's search terms report. I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions about this, leave it in the comment below. Anything else you're looking to learn, make sure you drop in the comments below as well. Um, if you are looking for more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, uh, and I'll be trying to you know drop content more regularly on the channel um, to help you guys out. So again, my name is Chris Down. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.